morning everybody I um, am home and I've done a lot of thinking about the things that I need and don't need in my van uh, I don't know if you remember, but when I first went to um, meet Aja and Terry in Flagstaff a few weeks ago, um, they decided to stay in Flagstaff for the night. And I couldn't because my van was so full that there was no way for me to sleep in my van. Um, like, you know, I could never stay in a Walmart parking lot. And I mean, they were staying at, I think, Cracker Barrel. And it just didn't work for me. So I wanted to show you the things I've gotten rid of that I decided I just didn't need. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, right now it's in a pile. It's going into my shed. But this is my shower and potty tent. I may still take that if I can get it fold it up correctly and put back into the case but any of you who have ever had those knows what a chore that is my little table my Seahawks table it was nice to have a little table sitting outside to put your drink on and you know whatever and it just takes up too much room my wonderful grass mat um, I love that outside my door, but it takes up too much room. If I end up buying a uh, roof rack, you know, my van doesn't even have the side rails to put a roof rack on. So the first thing I would need to do is get the side rails. Um, then I may take that. A propane tank, you know, I have one of those... Um, what are they called? Um, well, we'll just look. Oh, I can't because the door is locked. Uh, Gas One, that's what it's called. That runs either on propane or butane. And I decided I didn't want to hassle with all the, you know, changing the containers and buying them and running out because it's kind of expensive. So I had bought that years ago when I first moved into my van and had never used it so I filled it up with uh, propane before I left last week and never used it so I'm probably going to just use um, the butane bottles because they're convenient like I said they are more expensive but they're convenient um, this little stool chair I'm gonna leave that home um, of course, I will take my chair with me. It's just not in the van right now because that can, you know, be in there without causing too much trouble. So, um, and I'll show you. It's a mess. I haven't cleaned since I've been home. So you can see it's the rugs dirty and everything and I haven't made my bed. Um, now that little thing um, usually goes on top of that um, three drawer tr chest but it's not bolted down so I travel with it on the bed um, or it you know falls and the drawers come out and everything you know goes everywhere so um, for now that's just on my bed so you can see that I've got it down enough to, to where you know I'm gonna have to open the back door so I can show you what's back my water jug fits right there under that shelf and oh and that's another thing I had originally taken three water jugs with me I will now only be taking one and I'll just have to go get water once a week because that's five gallons I may put the seven the other one is a seven gallon that may fit in there if so then I will be taking seven gallons of water with me um, I had bought this rug here to use right here when I'm cooking and since that doesn't take up too much room I'll probably take that and here's my little gas one stove 
I've used um, strong double-sided tape to tape it to this cutting board so this isn't sitting directly on the plastic and I've used Velcro to attach the cutting board to the shelf. And then the three drawers right there of food and cooking supplies and again my little my little toilet. Did I show you guys? I know you've seen them because a lot of people have them. Um, this is how it works. Put that there. And this goes in here. And then you put a bag of some sort. And it has... Oh! Then you put this in the bottom so it keeps its shape. And then this goes right there. I did buy kitty litter to use and I know that sounds silly but it works. So anyway there's that and I need to figure out a way to you know hang my paper towel because because I want to. So anyway that's it for my uh, van tips for the day. What is this? This, I think this might be, this is Parker's little um, house that he, you know, turned into a hamster wheel. But that came in really handy because then he can, I can put his bed in there and he can um, uh, curl up on his bed with his blankie and I don't have to either have him in my lap or on a leash constantly. You know, after he figured it out, he settled down. So that worked out well. I liked that a lot. In fact, I'll put the link to that in the description. So anyway, you guys, that's it. Talk to you later.